CD4015 consists of two four-stage shift registers. Each register has its own four bits parallel outputs, a reset pin, one serial data input pin, and a clock pin. The clock signal is provided through a PWM signal. We can generate PWM through a 555 timer, or any other digital IC. It also called a serial and parallel out register. As you can see from the pine out diagram, the CD4015 shift register IC consists of 16 pins. Blue color shows pins of register B, and green color depicts pins of shift register A. Q0 to Q3 are output pins for shift register, pin D is a serial data input pin, pin 1 and 9 are clock inputs. CD4015 has only one data input pin for each shift register. The data value applied at this input is transferred to first register stage, on the positive edge of a clock. At each positive transition of a clock, this data is shifted over one stage. The reset pin is responsible for resetting all the output values. When reset pin is high, all output pins resets to zero. The reset pin is normally connected to the ground of the circuit. The truth table shows the state of the register after the positive transition of clocks. For simulation purpose, we are using logic states and logic probes of Proteus. We will provide clock signal and serial data input through these logic states. For simulation purpose, we will use toggle switch to provide positive edge of clock. Because, switching from 0 to 1, will provide positive edge, to shift register. We can use the probe state of Proteus to see the output of Q0 to Q3. Now let's see Proteus simulation working, first make serial data input pin logic high, that means, logic 1 will transfer to each stage on every positive edge of clock cycle, because in serial mode, data transfers bit by bit. Hence, on first positive edge, pin Q0 will become 1, on second positive edge of clock, pin Q1 will become high, and so on for Q3 and Q4. Now let apply clock signal and see output of shit register. As you can see, as soon as we apply clock signal to CD4015, data will start to shift on the output pins. Now let's change the serial data input to logic low. Now apply clock signal, as you can see, logic 0 appears on pin Q0, and other pins sequentially, on every positive edge of clock. This is how CD4015 dual 4-bit shift register works. Thanks and don't forget to subscribe, and like this video.